Hi, thanks for tuning in. This is a short video to further the body of knowledge about building homemade, high-definition TV antennas to receive free-to-air broadcasts. I dumped cable TV a few years ago, $90 bill, paucity of content. And what really got me was paying to watch TV adverts. It's quid pro quo. You watch the adverts to pay for watching the channel, but I'm paying to watch the adverts. So that got me. My pal, uh, Vegas Jim, who was in town, he said, well, why don't you check out Free to Air? And it's, it's available everywhere, but not really well discussed. And uh, not, not many people seem to know about it. But I guess if you're watching this, you clued in, and I'm going to help you uh, with a better design, I think, for a uh, build of a bow tie antenna. Now, I'm not going to suggest a different type of antenna. Um, lots of physics postgrads are discussing the how to make them and what are the best ones and sort of sniffing at the, the bow tie. But the bow tie will get you started, it worked for me. And uh, I got this design here, which you'll find from a guy, at area code 306, I think it's in Wichita. Uh, basically it's made with bits of coat hanger. Uh, these prongs, uh, are, are, these are 14 inches long. So each element here is about uh, seven inches. It's about three inches apart, or should be. And these uh, bays here are five and three quarter inches uh, between each one. Uh, it's tuned by frequency, uh, but it's a fairly general one, so it'll get all of your uh, TV channels. But you can actually calculate it. If you go to your federal website, it'll tell you what frequencies the TV channels are transmitting on, and then you can calculate. I think these are quarter wavelength. Um, basically, you divide the speed of light, which is 3 by 10 to the 8 meters per second, by the frequency, and that'll give you the wavelength. Divide by 4, you'll get the quarter wavelength, and then you can tune them. But this works for pretty general uh, areas. It's a two element. So there's one, two, three, four uh, bays on this one. And then second element is one, two, three, four. And you can see the insulating tape here. It's a balance for balance and unbalance. It's called a transformer. Shop around, you can get one. That, that's right in the middle of the array. And that's what connects to our piece of friendly cable. As it goes in there. Um, you can shop around and get them. I got these from Radio Shack for a couple of bucks. So I made it. It's a piece of wood. It's pretty clunky. As you can see, uh, it's pretty horrible. You've got to scrape all the paint off. And so I was thinking there must be a better way to make one of these. I looked at different materials to use. And I got here, I've got some uh, copper wire of different gauges. I've got some all round steel strapping for. Um, Fences and bits and pieces, and you can see the Canadian flag because we are in Canada. Also got some galvanized wire, Phil Galvanize. Um, but then I thought, well, why not make one with metal tape? So I got one of these. I thought, well, why don't we use tape? Rather than use pieces of wire, we can use tape. Now I'm not a great expert, there's a thing called skin effect. And the skin effect is when a current travels down a conductor, higher the frequency, the thinner it goes down. So it doesn't act, the radio waves don't actually use the whole of the wire, they're just traveling around the edge. So I thought, well, the surface, well, maybe I can use tape. It's like using cell phones, so I guess it can work here. So I got aluminum tape used for making ducts. You know, you tape together pieces of metal. But there is a problem. And I don't know if you can hear this. Uh, we've got a conductor here. These conduct. These don't conduct. Because the, uh, the glue on this tape is an insulator. So this is one element. And they should all conduct, conduct between each other. But they don't. Now, it turns out this design fits election signs. And in Canada, we've had a couple of elections. Uh, so I ran, went around harvesting uh, these signs. So the aluminum tape is a bust. So I found in my local electronics hobby shop conductive copper tape. So it's got glue, but the glue conducts. And this is the, the one I got from my uh, hobby shop. And I got these on, uh, I must have bought them on Amazon, I think, from China. So I ordered them. I thought it was six days. It was like six weeks shipping. But here you go, and this works. So, here is a cut down election sign with 
copper tape now instead of pieces of uh, wire. And on the back here, we've got, I know I cut this sponsor about Conservative Party, I think this one. Um, and this is really neat. It's thin, uh, it's quite elegantly made. And what I tend to do is um, I, I put uh, paper on it. So I use, uh, we've got 3M Super 77. So basically once I've made it, I can just uh, glue a nice piece of drawing paper over it. And that just makes a nice flat, thin antenna. You paint it any color you want. They just sit on the back of the TV and they are aren't they really good. So what we're going to do, it's, it turns out it's hockey day in Canada. So I'm going to plug this in to the TV and show you it receiving uh, bits and bobs. And there are six channels in Calgary <clears throat> and it receives all of them. I'm going to monkey about to get some of them, but it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. Uh, just before we go on a demo, uh, because I don't like paying for stuff, I'll watch the adverts uh, is uh, my part of the bargain. Um, CBC had every single soccer game in the, in the Soccer World Cup. Uh, but I was at work during that, so I wanted to make a PVR. And this is a PVR dongle thingy, a bit of USB here cable here. Now this one works on Macs, it's the Elgato ITV, which is hardified. If you have a Windows PC, there are bazillions of these things around. And I use a head end, a, a Mac Mini as a head end for my TV. And uh, you plug this in and the whole TV becomes a PVR. And it's really good. And works very well. Windows is easier to find than Mac, I looked a couple of years ago. But uh, well worth checking out. And in glorious high def. Right. So now we're going to go to the TV and uh, we're going to take this antenna and we're going to uh, show you what's going on in Calgary on Saturday night. I'll just put it on the side here. I'm filming this from Canada. And you know what happens in Canada? On Saturdays, it's hockey night in Canada. And this is the CBC website. Canadians route Oilers. Okay, that happened earlier. Let's have a look at the quality of the picture. I got it tuned to CBC. Play off the wrist and just tried to rebound there, stayed on the ice and missed that open. And there we go. I got some other channels here. We've only got six in Calgary. So we've got a bit of City TV, that's one of the other. Games. Pittsburgh, Florida. It's hockey in Canada. Oh, crikey. Anything you find us, anything you want. Yeah, it's a Saturday night in uh, called the Snow and Hockey. Well, that's about it. This is the one. Oh, my goodness. Yet more hockey. Okay, so that is in the religious channel. So that's about, uh, that's about it. So anyway, I think the uh, quality is pretty good. Yet more hockey. This is our constant diet in Canada. And uh, hopefully you won't have so much of it when you connect it up in your hometown. Right. There you go. Well, I guess I'm going to watch some hockey. <laughs> good night.